You know, I I do remember that now about like um, Japan. Uh, you know that uh, yeah when you like go like if you get like more than a few items at those combini stores yeah they always put it in those plastic bags and I remember like yeah a lot of people like walking around with those too in fact actually see how those you know, you know like these guys uh, carrying the umbrellas and everything like it would be a very common sight for me to see a person walking down the street with an umbrella in one hand and then a combini bag in another ah <laughs> yeah you know, cause like when you, cause yeah, when you think about those one room apartments and everything like that, they like, they like do not have, uh, um, adequate space for like a kitchen and, um, y you know, so you know how I love to cook and like, I like to make all those things, right? Like I, I, there's no way I could do that. And you, I think you've been in my, you, yeah, where no, I've, you, I, I, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people eat that way, you know? Hey, you know, I mean, it makes sense. The, you know, the 7-Elevens uh, in Japan, I know we've said this quite often in our playthroughs, but yeah, they certainly do put our 7-Elevens to shame. You know, what? And yes, they do, for sure. And when you go there for the first time, you're like, oh my gosh, this is like the best thing in the world. But, you know, after, it's kind of like, you know, the, the college cafeteria food, right? It's just like after about a, like, two months or half a year of eating it and everything, you're kind of like, and eh, novelty's kind of lost on me now. Yeah. <laughs> or the novelty's kind of gone. <laughs> and, he, and sadly, that's even the case with the Japanese 7-Elevens and Lawson's. Now, that being said, of course, like, there will always be things I will love eating from there. Like, you know, like, there are the sandwiches that they have, right? Very good. Um, I think after a while, I, I, I you know, I wasn't really into the the hot meals that you can heat up and i was kind of like you know if i'm gonna eat something like this i'd want to make it myself so eventually i started really getting into like fresco which was a uh um did, did i take you into our fresco when you came to japan uh one of the gross one of the grocery stores anyways they have like yeah fresco is a very famous grocery store chain in japan so and um yeah, like they they sell yeah they sell lots of stuff and have good variety and everything. And, oh, God, yeah. oh gosh, those things. <laughs> oh sorry, you better do your. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Cos and welcome back to Cosplays. We are back here in Tokyo. Uh, well, this well actually no, this, this time we are we're we're in a different side side of Tokyo, the one where a bunch of souls and spirits have taken over everything. <laughs> you know, so um, I've been—I've uh, I, I, actually been uh, playing a bit of this um, uh, off stream, and I've—I've I've done a couple of the side missions. They actually like the the monsters that you fight in them are 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 the same. You know, like they're the same monsters that you fought throughout the game. But like, I gotta say, some of the scenarios though are pretty are pretty creepy. <laughs> like one of them was. Well, one of them was like based on like the like an urban legend of like a uh, a uh, what you call it a, a train station that uh, only that will that you'll stop at only if you're the only passenger on board. Wait, wait punch that. Yeah. And now jump off. No, wait, I want... Ouch! Is there fall damage in this game? There is not. Oh, well, just jump off the building. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I will, but let me just get this stuff. But yeah, like, it was pretty creepy because, like, you, you have to get on the, the the train and then it takes you to this, uh, the, the, this, like, completely, like, empty station and it's it, it's very eerie. It, it, it actually, again, reminds me of that ex, uh, it also reminds me of that Exit 8 game. <laughs> mm. The train, the train, they're taking the train. <laughs> Anywho. Wait, ya Yakuza Puffs? Wh what? Uh... Oh, is that like a candy or a brand? Oh, I see. It's chips. Huh. Did, those, did they have... Did you see that in Japan? <laughs> no, you know, I, I mean, it could exist, but... Uh, I've only really seen, like, Yakuza stuff depicted in movies. I haven't really seen Yakuza brand stuff, like, things like that. 
remember the yakuza in in japan is still pretty taboo i mean like or it's you know there remember like in the bathhouses you, you know like well a lot of them you know if you have any visible tattoos they don't allow you in oh interesting well i mean in some of the cities they're becoming a little bit more lax on that like especially like tokyo or like well yeah because yeah, yeah yeah international travel yeah a lot of tourists but if you, especially, like especially yeah. like if you're in the jal pro like the you know japan you know language program thing where people go to japan like you know people go to japan to um teach english to the kids and stuff like that right mm -hmm. like um you know if, if you do that like and you're like out in the countryside and you know you're a foreign especially you know you're a foreigner and if you have like vis like a lot of or like visible tattoos you know you definitely won't be able to go into um like those bathhouses because like the, you know if you're out in the countryside they're definitely not going to want you in there <laughs> now oh, i, can't I mean them. <laughs> I mean, and actually, and not that I, I, I don't know. Like, I, like, I, I'd have to ask some of my friends who actually worked, you know, worked with Jal. But I'm wondering if, like, if you were an individual who had like a whole bunch of like tattoos, like your arm was just like covered with them, and your leg too, uh, like if 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 they would even hire you, they probably would be like, e yeah. you know, like. Oh yeah, no. Like a lot of my friends have like you know those like sleeve tattoos. So yeah. I, I do wonder if something like that would be, like they they'd say no to. <laughs> Especially one of them has a has, has one of like Studio Ghibli characters. So I'm just wondering uh, if that's like. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you know, typically for like or traditionally with Yakuza, it's these like ogre and dragon designs and stuff that they cut into their skin. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, if it's like a Ghibli character, it's kind of like, it's like, do I really look that threatening? <laughs> I know, yeah, it's like that'd be the that'd be the weirdest Yakuza family ever. <laughs> anyway, so now I think we're about to cleanse this forest. I wonder if you go into like Aokigahara in this game. I I, I think we asked Heidi that, and oh. I think we asked Heidi okay, that, and machine, uh, wait, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. Oh, no, he saw me. I was gonna see if I could. I was, I was, <laughs> I was gonna see if I could uh, sneak up on him. Nice. Take ah, that, see? you filthy animal. <laughs> I will never. St oh, you could have exploded him. <laughs> I could have, but uh... but still. I was the right. I was right to suggest the machine gun. Oh, hey! Look at that! I can just pick that up. Oh, I don't. Know. <laughs> hey, that that looks like no, uh, Kanatsugu. Yeah, yeah it is. Kanat <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Ha <laughs> ha. We are such nerds. <laughs> you are. I wouldn't have known that. I mean, I know who hey. Kanatsugu Nawa is, but like, <laughs> hey, would have. No, would've I know. I mean, I wouldn't have recognized that helmet. I mean, and, 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 and I'm only, I'm only familiar with the anime version of Kanatsu, <laughs> which I'm sure More was... like a video game version. Yeah, that's true, because yeah. he does have, wait, he's in that Sengoku Basara, right? He is, but like, he's kind of a joke, it's funny, he's kind of a joke character. <laughs> oh, he is? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he, he like, he like, he... What the... What is this? It's one of those ghost things. No, no, no. What you're doing, like, it looks like you're doing something different. No, I'm just shooting him. It looks like it's stronger, or like you're... Like, it's more... It looks more direct, I guess I should say. Mm. Like, as, as opposed to, like, the way that you usually do it. I don't know. I haven't... The, the only thing that I've upgraded is the quantity of it. I actually have a couple more shots now. Hmm. Oh. And the mist has been cleared. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Ooh. There's a Jesus statue. Okay. 
You need to clap twice. <laughs> You know why oh, you clap? Oh, I see up there. Uh, no, actually, I don't. Because the god is sleeping, and you clap to you you ring the bell, and you clap to wake the god up to grant you a favor. <laughs> I could just see a god like, oh god, I don't care what do you want. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's actually it's funny because like, uh, it's kind of a joke, but. You see, you're not supposed so, you know, you, you're supposed to clap at Shinto shrines, right? But you're not supposed to clap at, um, at least, like, in most Buddhist places, you're not supposed, like, your know, temples, you're not supposed to clap. Um, now, that being said, you know, on Mount Hiei, you know, the Tendai monks, they do perform some rituals that, you know, where it requires clapping. But, um, that's usually outside and they're appeasing the local gods who live on Mount Hiei, but... Um, but that being said, like inside the temple, most of the time you don't clap. But, you know, and it's funny, I, I kind of jokingly say because it's like, well, the gods are asleep, right? I mean, you have to wake them up in order to you know, be granted the favor. Whereas like the Buddha or Buddhas, right, you know, plural, like, you know, are all already awake. That's what Buddha means is that they are awakened beings. So no need to wake them up. <laughs> <laughs> No, he lives at the church. <laughs> oh, alright. What do you want, doggy? I guess maybe it's... They, they probably don't see a lot of, like, very big dogs in uh, Tokyo, because, like, all the dogs... Have you noticed, like, all the dogs that we find here are all kind of smaller? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. I don't need any more money. I have I have enough money as it is. Uh Oh, I guess I'm cleansing all the gates here. Ooh, Jesus statue. Kitty! Edika is in the forest? How do you know who Edika is? <laughs> For dinner tonight, I made uh, broccoli and rigatoni. Didn't I think you, you would have made pasta? Mm, no. Oh, I made I made chow mein. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's kind of the same, but not really. <laughs><笑> He's like all the unsolved mysteries. I bet Japan has some pretty gnarly unsolved mysteries, don't they? Uh, yeah. Actually, there was like this one... There was a channel I was watching where they had some of those unsolved mysteries in Japan. Remember there was that one that, uh... Those guys were threatening that one candy company or something like that. Oh yeah, the beast with twenty-one faces. Yeah, that was a that was a very interesting mystery. Yeah, that one, that one, that one's pretty creepy too. Especially since, like you know, they were never caught. We don't know. Ooh, are you going into the cave of wonders? I think so. Am I super strong, or is it just opening for me because? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shut up. It's all one big sign. Huh. So, Hanya Man is... I guess he's technically still alive? He's not like me, where I'm like caught in a weird limbo. 
Or maybe he is in a weird limbo, I don't know. Oh, hey. I don't think I'd see you so soon. And his friends. マリはどこだ一心同体か実に興味深いが意識はまもなくなる君らにはもう扱い道がない作ってやれなくて申し訳なく I wonder if this, this game will be like Last of Us Part 2 where we're gonna like all of a sudden play someone else for like the second half of the game. <laughs><笑> Oh, is he doing all this just to bring back somebody he's lost? You just pull a Spider-Man across the spy <laughs> into the Spider-Verse? <laughs> Yep. He is pulling it into the Spider Verse. Didn't this come out before that game? Before that movie, Kazuo? That actually is a good question. I'm not sure. Oh no! End of the Spider-Verse came out in 2018, this is 2022. Oh! Oh! Yes, of course, it's always the sacrifice.自分の子供を生贄に使ったのか肉体など魂の器に過ぎない愛情とは物に抱く物ではないだろうなんだこいつ時は満ち Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ugh. Nice kitty. <laughs> My God! Well, oh, we gotta shoot the arrow. Get where she can't see you. Uh, any action for cards? It's very limited. I'll keep going to the weaving techniques. Yada yada. He can still use some of his items. Absorb spirits with the uh, katashiro, and use his bow and arrow of uh, the quick purge. Oh, okay, so I can still do the quick purge. Uh, where do I go? Uh, how would that slow her down? Or do they mean the... 
explode explodey things. Okay, well, I have a feeling I might be able to duck through there. I hope. Where'd she go? Cross the bridge or eat around the corner and Ganakornerhand. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, I can't use the the ethereal thing to check and see where I can where she is. Okay, why? What is with all these games and hunting beasts by the by targeting their asses? <laughs> I'm picking up a theme here. I know, right? <laughs> Hopefully she comes hopefully she goes she hunts in the exact like same direction all the time. You know with this hallway thing it also it's kinda reminding me from uh, uh, Sonic uh, when your knuckles fighting the ghost and you have to run like uh, try to like run behind it and oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, whoa, okay, so she's fast now. Ah, damn it. Oh, crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, 
Almost had it. Come on. There we go. Give it. I want my KK back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one down. Where'd the other one I'm go? I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's doing whatever she needs to do. What the? It's like the the forest spirit in. Thanks so much for tuning in! means that yeah those are just like hollow bodies that he just has used for like you know their purposes of just doing whatever it is he's trying to do <laughs> you know something that I noticed with uh oh hey we finally we finished uh, the chapter you know, something that I've noticed with uh, Japanese language, they, they, they kind of do a lot of, like, grunts as as affirmative yeses, you know? <laughs> a lot of like, uh, you know? <laughs> oh, great. Are we about to pull a... Uh, Majora's mask and the moon is about to fall into it, <laughs> so we need these guys to to stop it. <laughs> okay, let's figure out what we're gonna do about this. Where's Wait, where was that phone? It stopped ringing. Where is the phone? Was it this? Nope, wasn't this one, but I might as well get rid of the spirits anyway. I already gave you food, dog. <laughs> There's an achievement in this game that I have to get, like, not 
quite all the spirits, but at least close to all the spirits. Like, there's apparently a lot in this game to the point where they don't, where they said, like, get approximately 100%. So, which means that there's probably more spirits than there are, than are required to get the trophy, but it's, uh, get all the spirits before you, uh, before you complete the game, so. <laughs> Be a lot of off-screen grinding. But, there should be... Oh. Lots of new stuff are discovered. But, in the meantime, let's go cleanse some other spirits. For, no, shrines. We, uh, we need to get more ground. We need to be able to cover more ground. Hey, is that a Jesus statue? Yes, it is. And it's one I haven't found yet. Oh, hell yeah, it's a fire one, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 pay respects, whatever. <laughs> Someone who can't believe what he has become. Well, don't worry, buddy. You won't. You won't be like that for long. Ooh, a lot of people here. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. <laughs> and there's an item somewhere. Oh, there it is. Nope, that is just a garden hose. <laughs> See if there are any, uh. Oh, wait, is that something? That could be. Nope, that is not it. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I found it. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, it's on top. That's it. Okay. Was that? Did I just pick up an axolotl? Oh, it's a model. <laughs> In Yakuza 0, you can actually catch an axolotl in the river. <laughs> and you can even give it to a uh, sushi guy, and he'll cut it up for you. And I gotta say, I can't imagine axolotls taste very good. <laughs> Have you had an axolotl today? <laughs> I can't say that I have. <laughs> hey, these guys are different. 
They are, but I think they're just upgraded versions of the uh, schoolboys. <laughs> and always twirling, 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 twirling towards freedom. Pretty much all. <laughs> pretty much all American politics at that at this point. <laughs> Gosh, I gotta watch this. Like, he was like, I always dreamed of being a baseball or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Ooh, hey, another one. I'm your holding gate, yo. I'm your holding gate. Now I'm your holding gate, whatever, whatever. All right. <laughs> Yow, relax and chant with and me. <laughs> Tofu <laughs> Oh, bottle truck. Oh, it's a minivan. Who would want a model of a minivan? <laughs> ah, you know, people always. People always, you know, want to. To, you know, they, the people collect model cars and everything. You know, I, I found one of those, like, lists of, like, you know, nostalgic items that might be worth a lot. You know, lists. And, and, oh, ah. Jesus! <laughs> I cannot believe I actually was able to... Okay. Give me some room here! Okay, gotta heal, gotta heal. Oh. Do you not have a lot of food that gives you full health or something? Or? No, well, no, I just I, I just cycle through my food, so ah. yeah, so it's just it's just giving me what's in the next slot, so it's not like I could I I could map it out if I really wanted to, but uh, no. <laughs> Boy, where is this... Where is this gate? Oh god. Spirits are late for work? You mean that there's work in the afterlife? No! <laughs> then again, if it's anything like uh, Beetlejuice, where it's like. <laughs> where they have to like sit in like an office, like in one of those reception offices and like put into customer complaints kind of thing. <laughs> That movie definitely does have a very dark humor about death, doesn't it? <laughs> Congratulations, you're dead now. Now what? <laughs> oh, hey! Is there another Ojuzu in here? Yep. Let's see, what does this one do? Archery beads. Oh, okay, I think this just... Oh, yeah, it just upgrades my archery. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, so... Well, where was that... Where is that ringing phone?
Oh, there it was, okay. You know what, let's go back to there. I can fast travel now. Makes everything so much faster. Ed is like, what the hell? I've been like, I've been listening to the dial tone for like, for like 30 minutes. Do you know how annoying that is to hear? <laughs> You're the one who likes Once Upon a Time in America where that damn phone ringing was like, for like 10 minutes. Okay, like you didn't finish the movie, so you don't know why that they had that ringing for so long. <laughs> There's a reason for it? Kind of, actually. When are you going to finish that movie? You never finish a movie. Akito <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just reappears in Tokyo completely naked after all this. <laughs> oh. After the... Hey, that's a new one! Wow, holy crap, there's a bunch of new gates. But I don't can't, I don't we can't even get to these though cuz some of these are still shrouded in fog. Oh, I guess oh okay, I guess we'll just have to slowly make our way. My god. Um wow, okay. <laughs> there are a lot of new ones. But I kind of want to see what... Okay, wait. Let's uh, let's go here. Because I want to see what this quest is. Because it looks different. <laughs> I know that the... the, the uh, what you call it is uh, that the ceremony or whatever is going to start soon. But, you know, my curiosity is more... <laughs> is more interested in 100% in, 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 in completion. I'm sure as soon as I, no matter when I come there, the the ceremony is just about to be finished. Yeah. That's how it always is. Oh, please, 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 please. Whoa, what the? I don't know, but dude, there's police right there in front of you. Sir, quick! I need to report. To, I need to report a couple crimes. Someone seems to be using souls and whatnot. Like yours! Ow! Oh, what the? She oh. saw me. Not anymore, though. Take that, you paper mache head. The red thing on the. Oh, yeah, I was gonna oh, say. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Oh, the, those banshee things. Yeah. Time to pull out the big gun, Puzzle. Fire! Oh shit. <laughs> Fire! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh come on. What? Okay, whew. Yeesh. Yeah, those things do take quite a bit, don't they? That took forever to kill. Oh, okay. Heidi says that there are two side quests that are, that like, 
are legit scary, and one of them takes place in a school. Oh, nice. I can only find the one that has the power up for level 2 for the wind. Uh, where is. There it is. Let's try this, though. I'm curious what this one is. Terry's. Huh. I wonder what that serves. Oh, is that a. Oh, no, never mind. I thought that was a Jesus statue. Oh, I see. The flowers are Erika's missions. Okay. Or maybe Rinko. Okay, so check out the specified location. Where are we going? Ah, here. Wait, is it this? Yeah. Uh, where's the nearest fast travel? How is there not a near fast travel with this one? Oh, wait, right here. You know, I was looking at this, uh, sur that, this, like, survey for, like, um, like, if you could take one video game power and use it in the real world, what would you do? What, what, what would it be? And the one that I, uh, that I picked was fast travel. Like, even though you've all, like, even though you have to make it to those places to begin with, it'd be so much, like, life would be so much easier if you could just fast travel to, like, you know, any location kind of thing. <laughs> Huh. Can you imagine how much time that would save too? Because then it's like you don't even yeah. need to. Uh, although I probably would do like flight or something like that. Too. Which flight? I don't know. But... I don't know. Like that's hard. I I, I don't know what I do. I need to think about. It. You know, also, that's the other thing, is that Hanya Man... Oh, hey! Oh my god, it's a schoolgirl! Quick, let's kill her before she has a chance to kill us! <laughs> oh, there we go. Where are you going? But, you know, like, there were, uh, like, but, you know how, like, uh, Hanya Man is, co is constantly, like, g coming on screens and taunting us, I guess? Yeah. But, like, sometimes they'll say stuff like, the portal is almost closed, our time is at hand, and I'm like, wait, our? Like, who is he talking to? <laughs> All the spirits. Doesn't he, wasn't he, like... Oh, crap. Th doesn't he, doesn't he see himself as kind of like a shepherd of all the spirits or something like that? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> oh, crap, this ow, 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 ow. Uh, unfortunately... There we go. Ow. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Ow, ow, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ow, 
Jesus. Oh my god. Why are you dying? Jeez. Okay, where's Psychic? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> yeah, dying by a traffic cone definitely is probably one of the more weenier ways you could probably <laughs> die in a game. <laughs> uh. Sheesh. Oh, she's carrying a kitty. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 oh, alright. Where? Why did you do that? Is it snowing? Hey! Wait a sec, what? Wow, she just scooted on really far ahead, and what the hell is that? Uh... Where'd she go? Oh! No, you <laughs> oh my god! I guess she's some kind of snow monster. Ow. Get away from me, giant! D are you familiar with these spirits that I <laughs> You know, I feel like that was, like, that, that ghost lady is one of the first images we see on the Kaidan book. Oh god. Oh, okay, interesting. So she has ice powers, right? Yeah. So that could be okay, and, and again, I don't know for certain, but that could be a uh, uh, a, a callback to uh, the uh, the the yokai of Yuki Onna, the snow the snow lady. Do you remember that story? No. So, like, the legend is, is that, like, in the this particular forest, um, this in this particular in a particular forest, uh, <coughs> um, um, there, there's a there's a ghost woman who is called Yuki Onna, and. She is, uh, like, this malevolent spirit who, if you are cornered by her, you will basically freeze to death. And the legend is, is that she kisses you and then you freeze to death and die. Um... Then, in the story, or at least, like, one of the versions of the stories is that, you know, one of the woodcutters that she comes across, uh, happens to be a very handsome guy. Of and course. Yeah, and, and and so she she's actually like, oh, you you got her, and she's like, I don't, and she's like, well, she goes, okay, I'll spare you, 
But if you talk about what you've seen to anybody, then I will kill you. Right? So, anyways. Uh, so, for the woodcutter, life goes on, and then he eventually meets a very nice young lady, and they get married, and then they actually have two children. Um, anyway, but then, like, one particular night, when it's particularly cold and snowy, he notices her in the, uh, in the night, like, sort of like in the night light, or like the, the light of the moon, and he then he actually tells her and remarks that, you know, you remind me of something, and she's like, what? And, and then he says, a long time ago, I was nearly killed by Yuki Onna. And, oh, crap. And, and, and then, uh... You know, she, you know, but she spared me. And then all of a sudden, his <laughs> wife turns into Yuki Ona and she says, I warned you not to say anything to anybody about what you saw. But then she says, but then she goes, Normally I would kill you, but now there's two children. And because of those two children, I can't do it. But, you know, but I'm going to leave and you have to raise the children. So she leaves and is never seen again. So, so she takes the wife? Or was she always the wife? She was supposedly she was always she was always the wife. So. I see. Damn. Yeah, that. That's interesting. Oh, you did a reading. Injury. Uh, cool, Heidi. Is that where the story ends, or um? Yes, that's where the story ends. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if one of the children would grow up to become Elsa or something. <laughs> nice. Okay, you've got more spirits! Into my paper! So, actually, what was on that... What was on that recording? Was it this one? Rinko, Shizidori ni koen ni mukatta ga Erika wa inai. Moshika shara betsu no basho ni itte iru no kamo shirenai. Mukatte miru koto ni suru. Da ga kono jokyo da. Boku no home shibuya ni nagai wa dekinai. もしエリカと交流できなくても時間が来れば渋谷を脱出するそれは理解してくれ以前エリカが僕に質問をしたんだ適合者とは血によって継承される<笑><笑><笑> それで行かないなら自分で行く。待ちなさい、エリカ。私はあの子を追うわ。あなたたちは計画通り渋谷を離れて。KK の方はどうするんだい？エリカは戦わせないと伝えて、それと渋谷のロッカーにこれを承知した
Yeah, but the problem is, is we're at time. It's we are at time right now. So unfortunately, we'll have to call that the stream for now. So thank you everyone so much for tuning in. Uh, I will be back on Sunday. Uh, Tara, will you be able to join? Uh, I should be able to. I'll, I'll be actually be driving back from Portland that day, but yes, I should be able to. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well then, in that case, we will either be continuing Dark Souls or uh, I will be continuing Yakuza 4. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Take care!